truly we have come into this house to worship him as we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we begin this 30th week in ordinary time, we are reflecting on the word of God about what makes the foundation of our Christian life and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourself in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow 
are orphan. If you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortion towards them by demanding entrance from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord. I I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from all my enemies. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extol be God my Savior, you who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your appointed. I love you, Lord. I from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Arcadia. For... From you, the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declared about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols, to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivered us from the coming wrath, the word of the Lord. Amen. To God. My word says the Lord 
And my Father will love him and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, <clears throat> they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking him, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the gospel of the Lord. I think it was just about two weeks or three weeks of being at St. Anthony of Padua when I received a welcome one young man who came to see me at the parish office. He had uh, a need, a very big need. So he asked me if I could help through this parish family. Uh, that help really needed some few thousand dollars from what he was requesting. And it was just two, three weeks, and I said to myself, you know, I've just been here for a short time, and this young man is asking me to come and see the parish family and ask that help. And I said, and the people, they are just starting to know this guy. I don't know, they don't know me yet. So I asked this young man, are you from this parish? He said, no. Which parish are you from? He mentioned the parish. And I said, that parish is actually big than St. Anthony, and it's, uh, I think the people there might help. Since you have told me that you are very active in, the par in that parish, and the pastor knows you well. So I said to him, why can't you try to ask, first of all, your parish through your pastor? And he said to me, he said, Father, my parish does not do what St. Anthony Parish does. That really touched me so much. My parish does not do what St. Anthony Parish does. So I said, well, maybe you can try. Maybe they can start with your, the help. So I said, go and talk to your pastor. And after that, come back, and we'll see how we can move forward together. So this young man left, but I haven't seen him then. I don't know if he got the help, or I don't know what really happened, but I told him to come back but he didn't. When I was reflecting on the scripture of this week, that came so strong in my mind, the words of this young man, my parish does not do what St. Anthony does. That is a huge recognition of what St. Anthony is. I reflected on it with a, a relation to what St. Paul was saying to the Thessalonians. He told them, because you have received the word of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit, you have, come, you have become a model. And I think that was my reflection of this parish family. 
if that young man could see what you are doing, so many people have said so many things about this parish. You have become a model. And that is the way we have to be as Christians, to be a model. Everywhere, wherever we are, not just here in the parish, not just here as a family, as parish family, but wherever we are as individual Christians who are coming from this parish, who are Christians, who believe in Christ, we have to be the model in everything. That's what God was saying through the book of Exodus that we have heard. Do not molest or oppress an alien or be bad to all those people I need. They gave the example of the orphans, the widows. These are examples of every person who is in need. We have to be a model to them. That young man saw this parish is up there on the mountain like a light, and he knew, I have to go to this parish. And that was so powerful for me, and I hope for you as you are hearing that story. We have to be a model wherever we are. And St. Paul continues to say to the Thessalonians, you became imitators of us and the Lord. We have to make people become the imitators of who we are as St. Anthony of Padua. Let people, when they look at us, they learn from us how we live our lives as Christians, as disciples of Christ. Again, not just as a family, parish family, but wherever we are as individuals. Because sometimes when we go out there, we are influenced by the voices which are out there, and we participate with us sometimes knowing that we are moving away to be the model of Christianity. We have to stand up wherever we are, always for what is good, for what is right, for what is just. That is being a model. And there should be something driving us to do that. What is that? The two commandments that we have heard in the gospel. Because there are so many people who do things which are good, but they are motivated by other things, maybe just to make their names. But for us, it's about love of God with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. That, those are the foundation of our Christian life. That is what should drive us in all that we are doing as Catholics, as parishioners of St. Anthony of Padua. When I was reflecting about those words of a uh, young man, I heard Jesus saying, there's something greater here than there. There's something greater here as St. Anthony than there. We have to continue being a model in the deanery of Greenville, in the city of Greenville, and the surrounding towns. We have to be a light on the mountain. That is being a model. Let people imitate us. Let us give them why we are here as Christians. Let that love of God and neighbor be something that driving us. You know, this scholar of the law, if you continue reading, he knew Christ was going to say this. But then the big question, which is also for us, who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? That is a big question for us. Because sometimes we choose who is our neighbor and who is not. When we do that, then we are failing about this commandment. A neighbor is every human person. And we have to reach to those people that's why God started by do not molest or oppress an alien. Every person, regardless of who they are, we need to reach out with love. The love that God has for us. That should be our drive of what we do, wherever we are. In the world today, we are being influenced by so many voices, political voices, social voices, and sometimes we lose ourselves in those voices by the time we realize we are using hateful words and words that not belong to us. We have always, wherever we are, love God 
love your neighbor as yourself. And then God concluded why he's telling us not to do things like that to others. Because he's compassionate. And we have to be the same. Be compassionate to every person. That is the way we are. There is something greater here than there. Let people imitate us and imitate the Lord who is in us. That is Christianity. Let us be compassionate and love your, the neighbor as yourself. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in God, God Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before our ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us meaning for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again in the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will not be in. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son, is a God and glorified, who has spoken to the cross. I believe in the Holy God, Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And therefore, Trusting in the love of God, we present to him our petitions, our prayers, and all the needs of the people around the world. We pray for Pope Francis that the loving commitment which he shows towards refugees will convert world leaders to welcome strangers free of all oppression. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the cries of the poor and needy, which reach God, must also penetrate and convert the hearts of the powerful, the rich, and those who are comfortable in our world. To help alleviate all kinds of suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that each one of us will receive the gospel with the joy of the Holy Spirit and live it in the service of God and neighbor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for political stability and greater progress towards peace around the world, for dignified elections in the United States, and for wisdom and health and government leaders during this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved sick, the dying and grieving, for children and the elderly who are especially vulnerable and for all who suffer from this many effects of this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our parishioners and family members who died, waiting for the Lord Jesus with hope that glory and peace will be theirs forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our personal intentions, we offer them to the Lord in silence. Almighty God and Father, as you receive our prayers this morning, we pray that your love may dwell in each one of us, that we may spread it wherever we are, especially to those people who are most in need. Grant all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offering today is the offering of the Lord. 
offertory song is Oh How I Love Jesus. and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracious make holy these gifts, we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord. Until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Anthony, our patron saint, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember, listen, gracious, to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before us. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all, who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen.
everybody say amen 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 at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let's offer each other the peace of Christ. Thank you. Jesus God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I want to say the way and my soul shall be.
Jesus. I worship and adore you, yes. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything else. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you more than anything. I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Oh, 
you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. Every day, every minute, every hour. I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. I can't make it without you. Can't make it without you. I'm like a ship without a sail. you Lord we're returning to our first love I love you Lord we love you more than anything sing it one more time Lord we love you Lord I love you more than anything Yes, we need Jesus and we have to love him, but also do not forget, love your neighbor as yourself. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. I have a couple of announcements. Um, we have a celebration today of Thelma Williams, a member of the Choir and Women's Council. She is celebrating 95 years today. And so <laughs> so we remember her in prayers for all these wonderful blessings from God. And also, just a reminder, at, at the time of Holy Communion, uh, always we start with this side, and then we come to this side. So always, please, wait for the usher to come. And the Eucharistic minister will be there, and once he or she finishes there, then she comes here or he comes here. So, and when you're receiving, please, don't receive the Eucharist like this. Uh, we are supposed to receive in our palms. It's difficult to give you Holy Communion when you do this. So we have to do the palm, please. <laughs> and remember, it's the body of Christ. So when you do this, it looks like candy, you know. So please, the palm shows respect. And then we are going to change the mass uh, for Saturday because we are having a challenge to sanitize the church between two masses on Saturday. Uh, between 5.30 and 7 p.m. So the mass on Saturday uh, will be 5 o'clock and 7 p.m. But this will not start until uh, we lose one, uh, one hour. That will be November 7th. So when you want to come for mass uh, in the evening, it will be 5 o'clock or 7 p.m. Any other announcements? So the women's, they'll have a meeting next Sunday. Please respond to that meeting. The Lord be with you. With May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying God with your life. Thanks be to God. 
We end this mass by singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, he's my friend. Oh, can't nobody. Nobody do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Oh, he's my friend. My friend. Well, he picked me up and he turned me around. Turned me around. Picked me up. Turned me around. Turned me around. Oh, he picked. Turn me around. Turn me oh, around. He's my friend. He's my friend. Well, he healed my body and told me. Told me to run on. Heal my body. Told me to run on. Told me to run on. Well, he healed my body. Told me to run on. Told me to run on. Oh, he's my friend. He's my friend. Oh, can't nobody do me. Like Jesus, do me like the Lord. Do me like the Lord. Okay, nobody. Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. Oh, you're my friend. My friend. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. 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 No, 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 nobody. No, 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 nobody. No, no. No, 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 nobody. 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 Can nobody do me like Jesus? Can nobody hey. do me like Jesus? Can nobody do me like Jesus? Can nobody do me like Jesus? No, 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 hey. no, 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 nobody. No, 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 nobody. No, 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 nobody. No, 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 nobody. Can nobody do me like Jesus? 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 No, 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 nobody. 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 Can nobody. Do me like Jesus, can nobody. Do me like the Lord, do me like the Lord, oh, okay. nobody. Do me like Jesus, do me like oh, Jesus. He's, my, he's my friend. He's my friend, yeah. He's my friend. He's my friend, yeah. He's my friend. He's my friend, yeah. Can nobody do me like Jesus? 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 No, 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 nobody. 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 No, no, no,